When we ask ourselves the question on the future of education, I think uh, there are a number of trends that I have been observing the last few years. The first is education and knowledge might not exactly mean the same anymore. Um, there was a time where getting knowledge was going to school, and today knowledge is no longer just belonging to schools. We have multiple sources of knowledge that we are using on social uh, medias, on different channels, on platforms. Just an example, there are now courses that are offered by technology companies uh, that we can enroll and take and or integrate it into existing curricula. So I think there's a side of the question about future education there will be much more open and knowledge as an idea of 2.0 rather than knowledge only uh, belonging to schools. So in the question around globalization, localization, the direction of travel, um, we clearly are at the end of a model of globalization that has uh, been quite generous with us for quite some time, especially if we are in some part of the world. Uh, equally, we have seen with the rise of the crisis of the last few years, the localization was not only a trend, but it's becoming a consolidated form of life. Today, regional economies are coordinating more. We have more sense of where do we belong because we feel that local community are becoming more important. And so I think as much as we talk about new forms of globalization, uh, sometimes we refer it as globalization 2.0, we equally have to talk about new form of, lo of localization like localization 2.0, uh, as uh, I think we see this integration becoming an interchangeable way of thinking. How will technology shape the future of workplace is really a question that intrigues me a lot. Uh, I often ask myself, will we go to the office eventually, right? Will we have the idea of the office? Or will we rethink in space accordingly? So first of all, I think the future workplace will be hybrid by design. Today we're learning that when people are given more autonomy, they engage much better, simply because they don't find that going to work is a compromise to other important things in life. Uh, second, I think we are realizing that work doesn't have to be exclusively in the office, but the office has a purpose of building the community. Uh, I do remember in my earlier uh, days in the office, I was sometimes thinking, I come to the office, but I'm by myself in the office. I'm not really connecting much. And today we are sort of like moving away from that to say, come to the office for a meeting or come to the office for a conversation. But we also understand that some productive tasks happen not necessarily in the office. So we are getting more maturity on that. 